it is a very technical and very important caption that your team leader has decided. I hope that the challenge which the team leader has decided for you all, you must be prepared on it. Are you prepared? Yes, yes sir. sir. So for that, I would expect that team leader is going to have some briefing about the caption and on that basis, I am going to talk to you all. Team leader, you please come and brief the, brief the topic. First of all, good evening, sir. Brilliant. Thank you for appointing me to have my views on the caption. Is decennial census is relevant to conduct the population data? For friends, firstly, what is census? Census is the acclimatization of the number of populations that is residing in our territory. And still, we are delaying it with the June 2023 from 2019. As it has been seen that in from, from the history, from the Aini Akbari, we are seeing that the population is mentioned in that. And without having the proper population data, we can't have the proper administration system in our country. As we are living in the democratic system, so we need to authorize some urban local bodies and even the local systems to make to make administrations effectively. And if we talk about what reforms we can make, yes, it can be made as a quinquennial system because we at, a, at the verge of 5G technology using the digital system. And in that very vicinity, we can appoint some, uh, we can uh, administ administer some uh, website to make the populations, to feed the po proper data to make it memorable. Thank you. Okay, what I get, uh, the team leader want to convince me because actually whatsoever the content he has, he already delivered it to you. That actually census is a type of process through which we are going to count the resource of the country and on that basis the resource is going to be utilized in the meaningful way, isn't it? Yes sir. So please have your seat. Yes So how the resource is going to be utilized by the country, actually when we talk about resource of the country, the utmost right of the resource is in the hand of the government and government conducts census. Actually, we are having the census for the ten, for a decade, period of 10 years. And presently, due to COVID, we are delayed by two years. And so that, whatsoever the consequences we are having, on that basis, the caption was decided by the team leader. So in that respect, the debate was assigned, and I hope that masters must be prepared on this. So masters, please stand up. Aniket and Roshan. Roshan. So, whom are to be appointed for the participants? Are you self, you are appointing yourself or somebody else? So send them with us. Good. Those who performed very good in your eyes. Very healthy evening, sir. Sir, today on the debate caption, the caption is each decennial census is relevant to conduct the population data. So the census economy, the distribution of the cost and many things. Mm -hmm. If it if you go through the relief hand that from the 1980, from the 1881 to 2011, we are conducting the decennial census after the every gathering of the 10 years. And due to some of the needy reasons that the COVID pandemic came and it has affected the whole world. And in that, if the government had decided to delay some years, then yes, we we are it is better because it has given the numerous results as the without the population, we cannot go through any administration. We cannot go for the development of the country. As if you talk, the so that is a correct statement because, because without counting the population, actually the text of delimitation of the area or the uh, election, even it cannot be done. Even every two or three years, the population of the particular region is increased, and for that, delimitation is very required by the election commission. And so that even in the ten years, population might be very huge in the particular region. So that how could we conduct even election? And election is the big base and backbone of the democracy. So that it is very important. So I agree with the context that you have spoken. Yes. Should I mean, sir, as for this, our caption is decennial census is relevant to conduct the population data. So, sir, in this uh, term, decennial census means that in every 10 years we conduct the census. But, sir, the 10 years really are long tenure. In the, our country, we have already. Say something else. Okay, carry on. Sir, as you talk about the decennial sir. So let me aware, let my friend, I aware about him that from this time India is going to conduct a census both digital and from door to door service. And if you talk about our country sir, then it is emerging as the world world leader and we are going 
good with the development and be following the digital sensor uh, still and if, if if our country can make are going to progress uh, efficiently then there is no any need to change the digital section sir okay that is a very relevant example do you have any counter yes sir yes so gentlemen don't live in a myth because uh, just uh, giving an example of corona and uh, declaring the period of uh, decennial census is not good because we have lot of opportunity uh, indulging the digital system uh, doesn't mean that uh, 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 indulge uh, the more resources into that and uh, waste the time of the people because uh, uh, in the world war like situation we have conducted the decennial census then it is very obvious that in this uh, scenario we can conduct the decennial census uh, digitally and uh, by the using the uh, resources of the people dear friend exception are not the example and if we talk about the this this decennial census in our country then it is conducted from the year 80 80 82 and and from that time it is going to continuously but due to this time has been noted the pandemic effect all over the world so it is obvious that there is some delay in the census so it has happened so it happened this year only okay that is a very good discussion please sir very good very good so you have your own choice points sir on please sir on so let me talk to the leader of yours how they feel and what type of approach they have okay then hasan what is your approach in that aspect sir uh, census is a very uh, long thing that has been conducted in our country from rigveda to uh, arthashastra it was mentioned about to have the account of the people living in the country so sir it is a good thing but sir as uh, time is passing sir we need to have some changes in that and as we know that 10 year is a very long period for our country and uh, amid that time there are many circumstances as uh, our country is a very dense uh, populated country so it has a very fluctuating rate of population so 10 uh, year is a very long span of time because in that only in 10 years we have a two terms of the government so if the government is for the people and it is by the people and it should at least know what is the density of the people and how they should work in what uh, ratio they should focus and what are the uplifting uh, criteria that they should frame to uh, for the upliftment of the uh, uh, of the uh, lower caste or uh, the minorities of the uh, section of the society so this should the frequency should be increased whether it can be 5 years or uh, 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 or appropriate to that only so you have one thing that has come out with the statement of your leader hasan that if the government is for the people to the people and by the people in the words of the great democrat abraham lincoln so if the government is working for the people and even the tenure is 10 year it means two tenure of the government so possibilities are more that government can repeat the tenure or might not repeat the tenure so in that respect if government is unaware about the resources that the government has then how could government initiate the development programs for them because actually the census is to be conducted for 10 years and tenure of the government is not for the 10 years so it is a very relevant example so that leaders are even speaking very good yes what is your content uh, ravi good evening sir sir i the census is the only thing from which we have a record of population and we know that what is the distribution of population in our society how we have to administer the population and how the schemes that may be implemented to uplift that particular section of society so for that uh, uh, the, the decennial system uh, census sen uh, system of census has been uh, used uh, over uh, hundreds of years but sir the, uh, presently we are moving towards technological era and in that technological era we have the data of each and everything like the birth the death the immigration the immigration so if we are already having all the data then why the census uh, the census cannot be conducted every month every second if we are already having the data the second thing is that sir during pandemic also we have uh, seen uh, we had seen that uh, the people who were suffering from the covid 19 the people who were getting recovered from it the people who were dying because of it we had the data of each and every second that was uh, revived after every 24 hours so why this can't be happen on the larger scale and why should wait should we wait for uh, the population census for 10 years and even in that period, period of time there are so many things that happens where we do not have the actual figure of the population and some of the governments and the authorities that are responsible for the development of the society they lack the data and on the basis on the basis of basis of previous data they only implement such schemes that are not workable in the present society so it is also a relevant point and uh, the other point might be that whatsoever the data is being shared by the government during pandemic pandemic means for so actually it was those which were reported but it is also alleged that reality was something else but when we talk about the sensitive issue like population 
always any way remember population is the real asset of the country and when we count it without taking all the precautionary measures then might be possible some hazardous step may come out because due to demography we should not forget one thing because of that only pakistan or bangladesh was was affected so it is a very sensitive issue and for that government has to take each and every sensitive step in some meaningful way so as we know that in the pandemic the cases were reported annually regularly minute per minute but we should not forget one thing that those who were reported were actually not the real facts many of the people who lived in the villages even the cases were not reported so for that extent it is expected accepted but when we talk about citizen of the country for that only assumptions cannot be dealt they are the sensitive issue and for that even local administrative bodies <coughs> are to be engaged so that all the records should be maintained because actually they are not only on the paperwork they are the asset of the country and for asset of the country india need to invest its precious time on that so it was a very good discussion and the debate part of yours stop it